I got a, I got a missed call from you in a message telling me that you uh, wanted to hunt my pond a couple weeks ago. I said I got a message from you a couple of weeks ago about you hunting one of my buns. <laughs> Mr. Derringer? Derringer? I live out here north of Kremlin. No, alrighty, well. Maybe again next time. I thought I saw a few down there the other day. Alrighty, thank you. Yeah, but dude, he don't no, keep it rolling. <laughs> dude, he totally like he legitly thinks he was like he's like who are you? And I was like Mr. Danger. And I was like live north of Crimea. He went oh yeah yeah yeah. He said I I think it all dried up though. And I was like, well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe next time. You ought to call him back and be like, I got geese on me. That's the one that dried up. He was very interested in whether I had ever had I'm pretty sure that old guy just called me back. A old guy just called me back. So it was really presented as like, you're going to say, It sounds like that guy we're talking about. He's like, about. I couldn't hardly understand. Like, he was old. I couldn't understand. I, all I, He's like, yeah, you called me a couple there, weeks ago about there. hunting some ducks on my pond. You know, of course you're gonna <laughs> I'm like, what's you your know? name? I was like, um, but there don't was a time. Episode five. Um, I can't believe this season is starting to come to an end. Uh, we only have three weeks left of duck season. It's been an unbelievable season, the best season we've had here so far. Um, what we're going to do moving forward is we're going to shorten each episode a little bit so we can pump more content out, out to you um, th for the remainder of the season. So I um, hope you enjoy it. Kickoff about to happen. Who you got? Michigan. Washington. Uh, winning is probably going to be Michigan, but I wish Washington would win. What do you What do you think about the NCAA allowing cheat to just be? I mean, this just. I mean, why not cheat? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I think they need to cap the NIL stuff personally, but I don't know. College footballs are still better than NFL. At Josh Farley. Michigan. Michigan. Probably Michigan, but I mean, I don't really know. I haven't watched a whole lot of football this year, so I don't really know. But I mean, if I had to say, yeah, they're both undefeated. But but I mean, I, I I'd, I'd probably say Michigan. Who's playing? Michigan, Washington. You gonna choose off their colors or how you? Choose uh, man. Well, that guy looks <clears throat> that guy looks like a solid guy. He's got an M on, so he's Michigan. And then there's a Washington guy. Well, hot their colors take. are nice. I'm. Huh? Hot take about the guy that you just said is a nice guy. He's been suspended half the season for cheating. Well, what do you think about that? That means that that, that means they've <laughs> that, that means they've probably been winning. Am I wrong? Nope. Well, I'm gonna go for them then, because <laughs> they're probably gonna win then some way or another. I'm with uh, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. Washington. Who? The only one. Washington. They are taking it all. No. Biggest upset. They Washington bullcrap. I don't like them. Uh, that coach can that? eat crap. Hey, you <laughs> so you're four cheap. Who, what? Ah. You, uh, um, mostly Washington players. I'm going with uh, Michigan. Man, I look like a little marshmallow today. What? I mean, I about got a brain freeze on the right end. Yeah, it's a little chilly. <laughs> I drive on the highway. I don't know what is it like, 72 mile an hour north wind, Hunter? No. Oh, Real note, it's about a 40 mile an hour north wind, 35 to 40. I guess probably 20, 50, 25 degrees. So it feels out here about you know, probably like negative three, negative four. There should be four hoods. Are there four hoods? Yeah, you need to tighten that one on. Which one? No, no. Come to Oklahoma, they said. It'd be fun, they said. Feels like beach weather. Just want to lay out. Cold, 
uh, out here getting the job done, just trying to live the dream, you know? Freaking cold as crap. It's 45, 40 mile per hour winds. Just trying to make the best of it, you know? At Falcon Outfitters. Stay tuned. in the field that they picked up, so kind of waiting for them to get back, but I mean, we could have easily had over 100 per day, but man, this wind was ferocious. Harold, tell these folks a little bit about yesterday's hunt. You mean today's hunt? No, yesterday's, no, yesterday's hunt. That because hunt we didn't rain. get to film it. Oh, the teal hunt. Because it was yeah. raining so hard. Well, that's why we couldn't film anything because it rained. Well, I know, <laughs> but the people want to hear about it. What do they want to hear? They want to know like how it went. A little recap. A little recap? Yeah. A little recap of a little two hunt. Yeah, a little just a little cap, a little recap yeah, of I mean, a little two hunt. A little 60 bird. I mean, yeah, you know, 57 teal is a little <laughs> ca is a little two hunt. Well, with two, with two ring necks and a gadwall. With two, yeah. A little 60 stack in about 45 minutes. Tell folks what they want to hear. I mean, I wish we could have filmed this thing. It was... It was a little teal hunt, you know, it's like blue wing teal hunts up green wings in January of all things, which ain't supposed to happen. But yeah, like I said, it was amazing. We got there and we had to leave late because it was a lightning strike that backed everything up about 30 minutes because we want to make sure we weren't going to get any more lightning because nobody wants to hunt with lightning around. So but it anyway, didn't, really, didn't it hurt us though? No, it didn't. They kind of showed up by the time y'all showed up. That's what the other amazing thing was. Literally, by the time we got in the blinds, got their guns loaded, and I was literally turning around, you know, except you can see where y'all were at. And I turned to look back, and there was about four or five coming in. And it was after shooting time, you know, when this was all happening. And there they were. And literally, right as y'all got back, I mean, it just started. And from there, it was nonstop. Just, I mean, literally nonstop. I mean, we were kept, had, dogs were retrieving birds, and we were steadily shooting birds. I mean, yeah. it was unreal. We were having to wait for them to clear the dogs just so we could shoot. <laughs> A lot of times they were having to shoot above the dogs, you know. Yeah. I mean, it was unreal. I mean, it was it was for January to have that many teal. Yeah, that was is nuts. as quick as we could bring them back, shoot them again. Yeah, they could, I mean, it was like the it? most controlled chaos of all had. time. It was, no doubt. A good hunt. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Thanks for watching episode five of Falcos Beyond the Blind. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to get all the info for every video.